So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hi there, this is Robin Norgren, and I am your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. We are in the middle of a series called Help Me Know What to Pray, and this is day number eight. So what I do is I go through um, some verses that can be found in the Bible, and then I take the psalm based on the day we're in. So today would be Psalm 8. And I allow this to be this time where we are together in agreement and you can allow the words to be a prayer over yourself or whatever situation you find yourself in. You can listen to this while you're doing your walk or sitting in a special place in your home or um, just something that you might need to do just to center yourself either when you're driving or even throughout the day to come back to it and to just have um, a place of mindfulness. Because here's the reality. There are just times when you feel incredibly overwhelmed and you want to pray, but you just don't know what words. And help is a good one. And be with me, Lord. But there's more, right? There's more and you feel it inside your spirit. And what's good about the Psalms, particularly from the Bible, is that so much of it is just a conversation ordinary people would have about the ups and downs in life. So let's go ahead and begin. Psalm 89, 1 through 5. I will sing of your mercies, Lord, forever. With my mouth I will make your faithfulness known through all generations. I will declare that your loving kindness will be built up forever, that you will establish your faithfulness in the heavens, and the heavens will praise your wonders, O Lord your faithfulness also in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the heavens can be compared with you? Who is like you among the children of the mighty? You are greatly feared in the council of the holy ones and more awesome than all who surround you. O Lord God of hosts, who is like you, O mighty Lord? Your faithfulness also surrounds you. Psalm 71, 5. You, the Lord alone, have declared what is to come from the distant past. There is no God apart from you, a righteous God and a Savior. There is none besides you. You are God and there is no other. You are my hope, O Lord God. You are my trust from my youth. As for me, I will always have hope. I will praise you more and more. All right, let's begin our prayer. O Lord, my Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You have taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. 
When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you set in place, what are mere mortals that you should think about them? Human beings that you should care for them. Yet you made me a little lower than you, God, and crowned me with glory and honor. You gave me charge of everything you made, putting all things under my authority. The flocks and the herds and all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims the ocean currents. O oh Lord, my Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. O oh Lord, you alone are my hope. I've trusted you, O oh Lord, from childhood. Yes, you have been with me from birth. From my mother's womb, you have cared for me. No wonder I am always praising you. My life is an example to many because you have been my strength and protection. I will sing of your unfailing love forever, Lord. Young and old will hear of your faithfulness. Your unfailing love will last forever. Your faithfulness is as enduring as the heavens. <laughs>